breaking down Optic Texas versus Atlanta phase on the map one. Six star hard point. Let's get right into it. Obviously, I've not really done this one before. I've not really played it too much as well. So it's going to be an interesting one. But hey, sit back, relax. Let's get right into the breakdown. Starting off on the P1, you can just see the biggest thing just to start this one off with is the equipment. And this is something I think... Obviously, you know, all the pros do anyways, but Atlanta Phase, New York, I feel like these teams at the top, they always have these equipment set up, right? The way they use their equipment, I just think is obviously a very important thing to start off with. You can see the starting nades. Now, when I'm watching the CDM, especially on a new map, I think it's really important to really look at everything, okay? And just learn as much as you can. Try to be a sponge for information because there's so many things you can learn. So, me watching this right now, I'm like, okay, interesting. So, when I'm on the side of Atlanta Phase, I can chuck a stun here and it's going to cost basically the other team their whole setup. So it's really interesting. I kind of picked that up and now I'm like, okay, I will do that myself. Same thing from this side. You see Pred chucks a, chucks a nade as well. So just interesting to know the kind of the, the starting nades that both teams do. Pred goes down, gets into a trade position. And yeah, right now, Baze is doing a really good job. The trade's going in. It's a two versus two. And Simp right there was kind of the difference maker. So if we look on the minimap right now, Simp is kind of watching the crosshair. You got Selian watching over him. And I think right now, Simp's timing is everything. So as the pressure gets to Selium, right? As they're all looking at Selium, you can see right now, Kenny and Dashi are both looking at Selium. As this is happening, Simp is going to go through and you can actually see they're going to be chasing MC on the right here. Simp goes through, takes out Kenny and Dashi here. Really good job while Selium kind of plays his life. And now Simp is the last man remaining. Again, looking at the minimap right now, what can we see? Number five on your minimap is going to be Draza. So Draza's watching the right-hand side here. So Draza's actually watching Simp's right, which means Simp only has to watch his kind of bottom pool area. So just using the minimap, using the communication, he's going to go through, use the cover and take out Shotzi. Again, really kind of effective stuff there. I think I got to lower the quality. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm putting it on 4K. It's going to be very, very laggy. So let's just uh, rewind the quality there. Yeah, so I just think overall, really good play, man. Really good play from Lando Phase. They open up the blood there. Go through Simp by himself. Going to watch over. Shotzi pushes him. And just like that, really good stuff. So if we take a look at the rotation, where's P2? So P2 is over there, right? So to be honest, you probably want in this scenario, I'm just thinking out loud here. You want to obviously be spawning here. I think it's going to come down to number six. Number six kind of making a play. I think what you want to do is you want to kind of push through, right? And you really want the blue team to be in a spot where they're pushing through. They're trying to get into P1. Maybe they, they leave this P4 area. And I, I'm just guessing, like, what I probably think you want to do is you kind of want to play it like this. You kind of want to play it through this side and basically give them the pool control and hope that they start spawning out. I'm thinking that's kind of like the best play for now, but we'll see what happens and how they really play it. So, going to go through the nades going again. You see number six, kind of doing what I spoke about, making that play on the right-hand side. And I think there's a decision to be made whether to cut through or to cut through middle. And I guess with 30 seconds left, you still want to help your team. So, Abiz is going to watch that right side. You see he's going to go through. He's going to cut in. He does see Pred here. Going to slide across, take out one. Good shots from him. Use his equipment straight away and go through here. Let's see what he can do here. That was a really big gunfight. So, Abizi is probably one of the best SMGs, if not the best SMG in the game. And it's just little things like this. Look what he does right here. So, he goes through, he takes out Pred. First of all, great reaction from Pred there to get the drop shot. And to be honest, he almost turns on Abizi. But for me, the biggest factor out of this whole thing is what Abizi does next. He's going to go through. When you're weak like this, right? Especially at this level with the pros, they know that they're communicating with each other. It's not like rank play where they're, you know, they might not be communicating. No, these guys are communicating. They know that Pred is going to call out to whoever on his team abizi's one shot push him right get that trade so abizi straight away chucks a stun grenade knowing the pressure's coming through that side the stun grenade is going to slow them down it's going to allow him to kind of regen as the stun hits him he's going to get this uh, the frag grenade chuck that as well and now he's not only going to go through he's going to get his health back slide across now shots he's going to be stunned and naded go through and get the second kill it just plays like that which make him so good so hard to play against you can see he's so weak goes through and still manages to get the two piece so i think just little plays like that just make him you know one of the best smg players in the game just one of the best players dashi goes through and let's take a look at the mini map now is anyone really rotating so my kind of theory was that they're going to go through this side it doesn't look like that's to play again i'm just guessing i haven't really played this map i think i've played it maybe once or twice but it's just good to see how kind of the pros play and what we can kind of learn from it so they're going through so no one's actually going through that side but number one is gonna be kenny kenny's taking that early route just to kind of guarantee the spawns so let's see what happens there so phase do a really good job here of getting the kills so what i've noticed now is a spawn okay so 
if the blue team are spawning back here, kind of back P4, which is around there, that means that the red team in this case have put the pressure through P1. So right now you can see the red team, when I say red, I'm talking Atlanta phase, they're kind of putting the pressure through the front. If you're number one in this scenario, if you're Kenny, you can't die here. You really want to play your life and try to maximize your chance of holding this side of the map here. So let's see what happens. He's, Kenny's going to go through. Kenny's going to have a fight here. He wins the first kill. Really good stuff here. So as he wins the first kill, this is why the minimap is so important, right? Let's say this is Kenny. So three people coming through this side. If you're Kenny, you're really only worried about two places. You're worried about this entrance right there. And you're worried about the hill. Well, I guess you could say three places, but you're kind of worried about the hill and this middle entrance. As he goes through and he takes out the first player, which in this case was Simp, your automatic attention is going to go back towards the hill. You should expect maybe one player to go through the hill here. And that's exactly what he does. He goes through. And I love the play from Shotzi as well. In this scenario, right, most of the time you're going to find people kind of get scared and they wrap backwards. The problem you have is when you're all wrapping backwards, is there's a chance if they kill Kenny, they can trap you in this little corner. So I like the play from Shotzi. I actually like the play from Shotzi to go round, kind of pinch them so that when they're breaking the hill, he's hoping he can get Mixie, the fights go through, and just hoping to catch a timing. And this is what your aggressive kind of flanking SMG player is going to do. He's going to make those plays. But from the other side, it's going to be Selium. And Selium with a great play himself to pick up the pinch there. I'm not sure if that's, you know, just understanding the map or just generally the way Shotzi plays. But I think little plays like that, is things we don't see from the other teams. I can guarantee that if this was a lower team and not Atlanta phase and not Selium here, they probably don't pick up that flank here, but they identified the spawn. So right now, if you're phase, they know that they're going to spawn P4. He actually watches this area, not only for the intel, but if he does get the kill like he does, he can then tell his team, you know, there's only going to be three of them in the flank. Just really good heads up play there from Selium. You can see Shotzi probably didn't expect that. Goes through. Kenny gets taken out as well, which is massive, massive play there. Number three, Pred's going to go for the pinch here. Dashy's by himself. And this is just a great play from Atlanta phase. Let's see what they can do here. So Abizi's watching the little tunnel bit with an SMG, which is kind of standard stuff there. Kind of what you expect from a sub player. Draws is watching the outskirts. Gets taken out there by Shotzi. And this is where Optic just have a really good pinch going through. They get one, they get two. And I think right there, that team grade's going to end the push there. Shotzi goes through again. But, you know, Atlanta phase is still spawning there. So it's getting really mixy here. I thought, I don't know why I thought Optic break your hair, but I guess the spawn's coming in. And again, like we spoke about with the spawns, I guess the good thing about this hill in terms of the good spawn for you is going to be this P4 area. And this is really important to know. So this is like the first time I'm really watching it and I can already see when you're spawning this P4, you have such a quick route to P2 that when you get there and you just flood your numbers in, you're going to get the trades and it's going to help you out. You can see number five spawning there. He's getting closer and closer. He's going to go through. Number eight gets a big kill. Selium gets one. And you can just see Atlanta phase. They're able to reflood the point. So really good stuff. They now know that all the attention is coming through the front. So they know that all the attention is coming through this area. So if you're Optic Texas here, there's a few problems, right? The problem you have is if you're sending all your players through this area, you, you're really, really open to the pinch. You're really open to somebody cutting through middle. And you're also open to somebody going out of skirts. You just, there's a way they can isolate you in. So you have to be very quick, very decisive, and you have to use your equipment really well. So he's going to go through here, dashy with the long jump. So in scenarios like this, right, when you're trying to break the hill, the best way to break the hill is with some sort of movement, okay? Movement and teamwork. So you see right now, Dashi jumps around the corner, and him jumping around the corner is going to allow him to camera the opponent and get that peak as advantage. So Selium does the same thing, and this is what's really interesting. Selium jumped around the corner, but because Dashi jumps slightly after, he's able to land, and you can see he's able to get some really good shots off, take out Selium. Now Dashi's weak, he's going to go on the floor here, you see the stuns go in, and just like that, Optic are just able to kind of flood in with their numbers they go through the trades go in and just like that they're able to break the hill just really good effective stuff there and i think it started off with dashy that jump to kind of camera mc so if there's anything you could take from that break is one work as a team two use your equipment three try to do that jump try to do some sort of cameraing mechanic to get that opening kill and eventually break the hill that's exactly what they did to a really good level now 20 seconds left where's the spawn shotzi spawning is that shotzi who's number three number three pred so pred spawning let me, let me get rid of this. So Pred spawning around there, okay? Because you got to remember, we're basically still on P2 spawns right now. So Pred spawning around there, maybe a bit back. 
and they're spawning around there, number four, phases team, okay? So if you're number three right now, if you're optic, you want to set up at number at P3 now. That's perfect. You have the spawns. This is so important, okay? If we look at the minimap right now, let's just say we're going into P3. Fred is already there, so he's already kind of at that P3 area. You have three members of Optic around the P2. You can just see right now, FaZe are basically trapped in their spawn, okay? This is the thing. What you don't want to do in this scenario is if you're, if you're Optic, you don't want to send all three people as far back as possible, right? Because what you're going to do is you're going to give up map control. This whole map, this whole game is about map control. When you're on hardpoint like right now, what they want to do is they want to keep phase if possible trapped as far away from the hill as possible that's kind of your goal right does it always work out not really but that's your goal so what you want to do is you want someone on the hill but you want people pushed out because if you can get a kill for example right now if there's a gunfight going on here and you kill this number two you're going to spawn number two basically on the other side of the map. So that's why you're going to see right now with 15 seconds left, number three is rotating. There's still three people from Optic Air because they're trying to win these gunfights and keep FaZe trapped at the back, knowing that Pred's got the spawns. And you can see Pred's going to back away and guarantee those spawns. Maybe watch out for that overextension. And it's all going to come down to counting names and stuff like that. So let's see what happens there. Shotzi gets one. This is really important because right now we have a 1-1 one, one trade, but let's see where the spawns go through and if anyone messes up. So FaZe do a really good job of kind of getting those kills there, so fair play to them. But I want you to notice a spawn. Number five, which is Draza. Draza died first from Shotzi, right? So when Shotzi kills Draza, Draza spawns literally there on the other side of the map to P3. So you can see Optic's goal there. Optic's goal is to get some kills and spawn phase literally on the other side of the map. And that's why it's so important, so crucial to kind of push out. Now, they don't do the best job there. And you can see this isn't the end of the world because although they died, they're basically back to square one. Optic now have the P3 set up. And they've got that side of the map. So if anything, you know, nothing's really changed. But the reason why you want to stay pushed out is just to really put that pressure on them. And I think that's something that when I'm coaching subscribers and I see their gameplay, that's something that a lot of people lack. Even at the kind of the high level, just don't quite push those lanes out and really, really uh, like make the other team suffer in terms of their spawn. They're going to go through and straight away, again, mini-map awareness, just the overall team. The setup looks fantastic. So we have two people around the hill. We have number uh, number four. It doesn't matter about the numbers, but yeah, we have number four kind of watching the outer skirts. We have number one in this case going to be um, there in the hill, kind of watching the front. Then you have number two watching the middle and you have number three watching the outer skirts. If we simply just look at the arrows and everything on the map, they've got everything covered. And in terms of their line, this is how much map pressure they got right now. So it's not bad, but the problem is as soon as one of them dies, that's a lot of map pressure lost. So let's kind of play this through and see what happens. So they're going to go through, you know, Kenny's going to go through. And right now, the way FaZe are breaking it, they got two players here. So let's see what happens on the minimap. On, on fights like that, cause a lot of problems because right now you have a good break here you've got a really good setup if you get those kills as soon as they go through if you're pred here you have to get that first kill you cannot afford to die here you see pred goes through he ends up dying and now look now the pressure's on because this is just the importance of the mini map and kind of tracking names right look at this number two shotzi so shotzi and pred are the right side shotzi's watching middle the second pred dies look at this timing here shotzi turns around i'm not sure if he's weak or what's happening but shotzi's backing off maybe to pick up the flank as this is happening number seven simp is chasing him so simp is chasing him and he's going to get the kill so what that looked like was pred died Shotzi went to replace him. During that time, Simp went through, got the kill, and now you can see number eight. Selium's pinching through the pool side. They got three people through the other side. It's just an excellent break from Atlanta phase. You see Shotzi and Pred spawning behind them. Simp goes through. I think he gets really good kind of play um, timing there. Simp, he goes through, waits for his health to regen, jumps across, and just a really, really good break from Atlanta phase. Basically a flawless break. They end up flipping the point there. Dashi gets one, but by that point, it's a little bit too late. They go through and they get a really good setup now the one thing that did save them in this scenario was going to be the spawn red spawns very close they're not able to really pick that one up i don't know maybe because it's a new map you know it's timings like this maybe they didn't expect that spawn i'm just kind of guessing thinking out loud but pred really good play here off the spawn takes out one takes out the second again map awareness game knowledge they know they know the last guy is going to be on the left in scenarios like this when you get the kills 
you just assume the last guy is going to be in this area because you know they're all around here he goes through jumps across gets some shots off the trades go in excellent play there but again how do we learn the spawn so if we look on the mini map right here number eight number eight spawns right there and that's where optic spawned earlier so now i know when i'm playing this map on this specific hill if we go to p3 it doesn't make a lot of sense but someone's going to spawn around there and the other people you know where they're going to spawn let's have a look so there's a spawn point there there's a spawn point there and where's green spawning right now let's have a look there you go so there's kind of your three big spawn points and it's just like looking at the minimap and really just picturing okay that makes sense so now you know if i'm looking at the minimap right and i'm i'm the optic i don't know where they're spawning and i see pred pred spawns over there i'm going to instantly assume that they're spawning in the back so it's just about using your mini map to kind of pick up lanes and just pick up stuff like that so they're going to go through now they're watching this area equipment goes in and this is just getting a really really kind of um, aggressive push here from Atlanta phase the trades go in great play there dashy unfortunately does fall off the map they're not ideal but we'll let Bruce you off he had a fantastic performance in this map number one 10 and 5 currently goes through shots he's trying to make a play here 15 seconds left there gonna slide in great shots but you see he doesn't push it okay again like I spoke about map control, we're going into P4 now. Why did Chossy push this area, get the kill, and back off? Because in this scenario, you don't need to play for the hill. This is really important because most people suffer with this. Right now, I'm going to show you exactly what Shotzi does to kind of maximize the map pressure. And something I noticed when coaching subscribers is right now, they would get this kill like Shotzi does, and they would go to push the hill. But I want you to notice what Shotzi does. He kind of locks on this lane, starts to rotate. The new area, the new P4, is going to be on this left side, okay? So what he's trying to do is go through. He's trying to cut that lane nice and early, and they're trying to trap Atlanta phase in their side of the map. They're not doing anything crazy. They're not pushing the old hill. They're just trying to trap Atlanta phase. You see, Kenny goes through, gets taken out here. But the goal there was to trap them in their spawn. And that's something I think Atlanta phase are really good at. Whenever teams trying to trap them, I notice that Atlanta phase get those clutch kills. Now, if we look on the mini map, where's number one? Number one kind of spawns out, and number five's making the play. And I think that's why Atlanta phase are so good. It's just those clutch kills. They've got so many just from this map alone, where whenever it's like a 1v1 or 2v2, they end up winning those gunfights. And it's just so impressive, man. It really is. Even right here, you can see with the teamwork, like Draza maybe could have shouldered it slightly better here but you see Draza goes through even though he could have played that better there you can see Simp and Abizi they're already there the trades go in and they're just going to get so many good kills there they get to one and I think Shotzi really clutches up there with a two piece so let's kind of see how Shotzi does that I think overall honestly right now if you look at the mini map FaZe are just outplaying Optic like they get the opening kill. They've got three in the pin chair. They're going to take their time. I think Draza really needs to slow down there. Just kind of shoulder it. Let Sim make the play. He's behind him. But this is everything for me. A BZ and Sim right now. Two versus one. And Shotzi's by himself. If Shotzi dies here, this is really, really bad for Optic Texas. But he goes through. He takes out one. He's a little bit weak. You see from his health. Straight away going to turn around. Using the movement to his advantage. What your goal is right now is you want to use some sort of movement, right? So that you can make a BZ kind of tweak you want a bz centering to go off here you don't want to stand in the same spot and make it easy for a bz so you see right now he goes through he kills sim straight away turns around goes for the drop shot just makes it a little bit harder goes through gets a two piece great play from shotzi there to kind of save them that hill and bring them back into this game here i think that was a really good play and while this is going on where's kenny kenny's going through he's kind of watching that middle map here great timing great play from kenny goes through he's now going to pinch this side here again stretch out the map this is really good Oh, that was actually a really good play from Draza. I, I want to talk about this right now. This is this is what I mean, though. Like right now, you're going to see Kenny, in my opinion, make such a good play. But I think this is where Faze just really find the gaps. Okay, so I like what Kenny does, and I'll tell you the reason why he does it. So Kenny's trying to push through. Okay, and what well, I want you to notice something. This player overhead number six, a BZ sprinting right now. So what Kenny's doing is Kenny's pushing out the map so that. As a BZ comes around this corner, Kenny's going to kill him while sprinting. Because if we back off slightly, right, Kenny gets his kill here. Let's say he stayed by this head glitch. If a BZ and Simp came around this corner, they're going to expect Kenny to be here, right? So they're going to be more ready for the gunfight. I always think about that. When you're ready for the gunfight, you play it completely different. You jump around the corner, you chuck your stuns, you throw your shoulders. So Kenny pushing out just makes it a little bit harder for them, right? So that if a BZ came around the corner now, he might be sliding, but Kenny has the advantage. But Draza makes such a good heads-up play. He goes through, he cuts those lanes. And I think right there, if you're Optic, that's a bit of a misplay. If Kenny's going to push up like that, I think number four in, the, in this moment, I think Dashi really has to push forward. 
he has to bump the hill. Number two has to get on the hill. Dashi needs to watch the middle lane here and let Kenny push through. I think right there's a misplay because you have two people watching the flank. Number four's in the hill. No one's picked up that middle area. So I think <clears throat> right there between Kenny and Dashi and Shotzi, they got to play that slightly better and slightly smoother there. Again, just these little plays right there. And, you know, now Dashi's by himself watching over. I just think he needed to watch that middle lane before. He goes through. He ends up getting that kill. Great kill there. Simp's going to go through. And again, the pressure just put it on them now. The numbers are there for, for phase. They go through. There's one. There's another one. I don't love that jump from from Abizi. I think you know right there you wait for you wait for your ARs a little bit, make a play. Um, you see your ARs end up making a play anyway, so I think Abizi there has got to play his life a bit better. And <clears throat> yeah, I think Abizi kind of trolled that. And you see Faze go through, and they just uh, they end up getting traded by Optic. Really, really good game so far, man. This is a insane game. Twenty minutes in of me talking absolute rubbish. We're not even halfway through the game. I'm just gonna let it play out and kind of uh, just see what happens there. So. Number four again, Dashi's going to take a little pinch here. He's going to kind of cut through. And right now, this is the thing about timing. Like, if Dashi's making a play, you, you just got to take your time here. Like, play your life. I think right now, this is where Optic's game, I think, can be slightly improved. And something I see FaZe do so much better. Right now, Dashi's making a play on the pinch, okay? You could look at the minimap. Dashi's making a play. If you're Optic, what you want to do is you want to buy as much time as possible so that when Dashi pinches... All of the arrows, all of the phase arrows are looking over here, right? You want all of the phase arrows to be distracted, kind of like how they are now. But you don't want to die. Like Kenny pushing through now, he just basically wasted his life. Now they're going to go through. Pred slides in for the trade. Somehow Simp wins that. Like that is an unwinnable. I don't know how Simp wins that. But now that's going on, right? You see there's two versus one. Now they've kind of picked up the flank here. Now they've got their attention onto Dashi. So Dashi's going to go through. And you can see number six is going to watch that. I actually think they should have held that. I think that was a terrible play from Optic at the start. I think Simp gets a huge two-piece. But somehow, Shotzi and Dashi make it work. I don't really know how that worked out, to be honest with you. Even watching it back, that was that was a strange one. But yeah, somehow it works out. Dashi goes through, gets taken out. Then Draza with the kill. Then gets teammated. Now Selium by himself. Terrible nade from Selium. Just going to give Optic that extra time here. And, you know, cutting the lanes again. Going to go through. It's a BZ. Takes out one. Takes out the second. Honestly, this is going back and forward right now. Fantastic four down. It's just the way they play with numbers down. And this is what I mean. Straight away, getting aggressive, cutting those lanes. And you're going to see on the minimap, number one and number two, they're making a pinch here. I like this. I like this a lot. Number three and four are going through. One and two are pinching. It's all good. It's going to be all about the pinch here. They go through. And that is a excellent, excellent break from Optic Texas. Now, that was almost a flawless break. Let's back away and see what they do here. Right now, you're going to see basically a flawless break from Optic Texas. So if you look at the minimap, map we have two sets of two right you got number one and number two you got kenny and shotzi and then you have dashi and pred look how they play this they go through they take their time so dashi gets taken out but straight away pred goes through he gets a trade while this is happening number one and number two went through they use their numbers to their advantage on the rotation they were basically four versus two they got the first trade they killed a second now during this time i think abz just has to be a little bit patient here you see he's going through by himself but he has no one with him right so abz going through and dying right now i think Think just causes a real real big timing issue for phase because now bz is going to spawn up they're going to be 1v2 you see they go through again simps by himself on the left hand side here and you could just see they kind of gave phase that so they kind of gave opted that setup for free and same thing on selium right selium's going through trying to make a pinch the problem is you can't really pinch in these scenarios when your team doesn't have map control so right now you can see selium's trying to go for a pinch i think that would have worked if a bz was still up right if maybe number seven was closer maybe if seven kills kenny head then you know selium could pinch but i just think right there phase got a little bit over aggressive they end up losing numbers and then a bz just had to play his life there they go through and they end up kind of losing this setup to optic texas i mean i don't know how he wins that simply is just unbelievable sometimes like the wins he gets is insane but same thing, Optic go through, great play there. And now the numbers are going through to phase. You know, it's just a battle of trades, man. Kenny with a big one. Selium taking out the trophy. I love that play out of Selium. That is an excellent, excellent play out of MC. Goes through, gets aggressive again. The trades are going in. This is an absolute bang out from both teams right now. Going down to the wire. Simp takes out one. Fantastic shots. Takes out the second. Going to turn around here. The last guy's up top. Again, number two by himself. I don't know how these trades are going through. Some of these trades are unbelievable. And the pacing we're seeing is on a different level right now. Selim goes through. 
I think this hill is getting very mixy. It's going to be about that P2 preparation. So, obviously, Optic did win the map, but I think this is where they get away with it. I think right now, getting that P2 spawn on an even game, they're just going to really, really be able to set up. Number three, it's going to be down to Pred for me. Pred's making the play here. Number six is going for the flank, and this is where they're going to really pinch them through. I just think if you're looking at the minimap right now, it's just the way they pinch number six here, man. I think, honestly, if Kenny wins that, sorry, if, if Abizi wins that, it's a completely different setup right now. And I think they could have helped him out a little bit. Normally, we see, like, the duo of FaZe have excellent pushes, but right now, you can see a little bit of just, I don't know if what it was, but look, you see Selim's kind of, not Selim, Simp is going through, he gets stunned, Kenny with a fantastic play, picks up a BZ, I think that's an excellent play, and now Simp's trying to sneak on through, and Kenny gets them both, so that's been a few times now where we've seen Simp and a BZ just not trade to the level we're used to, to be fair, Simp, uh, BZ's on 10 kills, he did say in his interview, he had like, I think, I believe he had a migraine or something, and I do believe that he wasn't playing to his kind of best, and I think when he plays at his best, that's when you see those tiny terrors really, really dominate the map, and yeah, this would have been a, a very scary, scary day. On the other side, the Optic, Dashi really turned up today. I think he had a great performance. I think what these maps do, I think this map as well, is all just teamwork. There's some other maps I've seen that, you know, require teamwork, of course, but this map is on a different level. The hills I'm seeing are just absolute bang outs. It's literally just trading and teamwork and just a lot, a lot of trading. And I think these are going to be really good maps for the top four teams even more than the other one so yeah let's uh let's see what happens there shot to go through gets taken out going into this next hill here again just an even game here but this is where i think dashi really turns up i believe i think he gets like a nice like three or four piece here you see he's watching the front the way they're playing this again they know exactly what's happening number three is what middle right so pred's kind of holding that flank so they're not worried about that dashi's watching the jump up you got the player behind him shots he's kind of watching over him as well he's going to watch the left here and this is where they just get so much pressure. But let's see how they handle this. Okay, so Kenny... Oh, great play from Shotzi. I was going to say, so Kenny actually picks up the mid. He lets Pred actually help them. And now they're going to go through. Shotzi decides to actually make a play here. Look at that. He jumps in. He goes rogue. Takes out two. And he just makes the play. Like, right there. What a play. He forces Selium to push out. There's two down. And there's a fourth. And I'm actually going to highlight that again. Because I think sometimes you need that. Just that extra bit of aggression and i think that really does allow dashi to set up here so i'm going to rewind that and really break that bit down so where was it so right now you're going to see a perfect example of just a blending of pace between this optic texas team and why i think during the year and as the year proceeds they're going to get better and better so right now you see dashi's kind of watching over and this is where shot sees aggressive play style he makes the plays that i don't think you always see on the kill feed okay so dashi's kind of watching the lane right now the problem you have is if you're a lanta phase you're actually in a good spot because you're closing in the angles and what you're trying to do is you're trying to get a pinch going, right? You're trying to get a pinch where when you get these kills, you're going to be able to break the hill and push them out. So if you're Optic, you want to get them out of this little kind of blender. They're in, they're kind of trapped in the hill right now. So Optic doing a good job. They're kind of set up, but this is where Shotzi goes rogue in a good way. He goes through, he jumps around, right? He takes out one, takes out the second. Now him taking out two people there is insane but not only does he do that he now isolates selium selium's now kind of worried about the pinch you see number seven kind of takes his foot off the pinch eh? goes through tries to help selium now selium's going to go through he has to push up and you can see shotzi knows that shotzi's playing the pinch there selium has to go through so from shotzi making that two piece he ends up pushing selium out and now seven as well seven had to get rid of his position to help the pinch so shotzi's two piece not only did it take out those two it basically distracted simp and selium as well essentially distracting the whole team and now you can see Dashi's in a great spot he's sitting there with an AR Pred's got his outskirts and they can now push up they can now put pressure back on Atlanta phase this wasn't what they had 30 seconds ago and this is where Dashi's able to use his gun skill get one get two and between the team they were able to get a four piece this is where he goes absolutely rogue and I think that Shotzi made the play there. Shotzi's play allowed Dashi to do this. Dashi has a skill to kind of manipulate the head glitch and just overall beam anyone. But I think right there was just an example of Shotzi's finesse allowing them to get more map pressure. And it's just little plays like that. We just don't see that enough and talk about that. And that's why people talk about the, the, the what's it called, the scoreboard. But I think plays like that is what we got to highlight. As I'm saying that, I don't agree with this play. I don't like this play at all. Even when I saw it at the start, I was like, yeah, this just isn't what I want to see from Shotzi. He's like, he's by himself right now. Like, I think you've got to play your life in the building and just, just kind of finesse and play for some kills. But I just don't like that spot from him because now he's dead. He's going to spawn all the way out, kind of P3. You see he spawns all the way there. 
I would rather Shotzi be in this room and just really be a menace there, really play his life. And I think that's where he could, um, you know, may maybe add a bit more, not finesse, but just hide a little bit better there. And I think it would have really helped him out. That should go through with the Cruz. Let's see what happens there. So Cruz gets one. I mean, good break out of them. You know, he gets two. The trades go in. And again, the it's just so hard to take these guys out, man. They just win so many clutch gunfights that they shouldn't win. And with the Cruz, it's making it a little bit harder. You can see it's a bit of a 50-50 now. I don't mind the Cruz miss. I think that's a good Cruz to invest because, you know, the game would have uh, got a lot closer. So at least this way, they're kind of contesting it. But I think they just lost a lot of gunfights. You see right now, this is going to be Fader's hill to lose here. So straight away, they're going to start setting up for the new hill. And again, look what they're doing. They're pushed out the map so well right now their goal right now is simple they go into p5 from p4 and all they've done is pushed out the map one second i need to sneeze there okay it's not coming out if i sneeze in the middle of this i apologize but yeah what they're trying to do they're trying to keep them trapped in the p4 here yo i just want can i just sneeze like it's literally just held in my nose it won't come out Anyways, <clears throat> yeah, so if you're optic right now, you're trying to keep the blue team trapped in this P4 area. So that you can see they're pushed out so much on the minimap, and I really, really like this play. The thing is, FaZe, they just sniff these kills, man. Whenever I'm watching FaZe, they just somehow all win their ones. You see Draza gets one, and they just always sniff the kills out, man. And that's kind of how they break it. But, you know, really good job out of optic. Obviously, optic are no slouch in the, you know, killing department. They're, they're absolutely insane. So maybe against other teams, it might work out. But yeah, maybe not right now. They're going to go through. Um, and yeah, just like that, you're going to see Optic have a really good hold there. Um, I thought so. And then, you know, Celia ends up going through. And I think they just kind of threw their lives there at the end. I think FaZe did a really bad job there. I think they could have played a little bit patient. And now it's just so hard to break this hill. This hill is so difficult with the water. I think you kind of have to go in with your pistol, which is kind of what they were doing. But you can see there's... Now, right now, Celia was watching over them. They're just all sliding in one by one. Again, a BZ goes through. They just got to play together a little bit. I think they just went too rogue there. Shotzi gets a nice two piece but they gave it to him draws was by himself what does he do he goes in he's trying to make a play they just go rogue man i think phase right there just needs to play a little bit more discipline like we're used to seeing and um yeah they probably could have got back into the game there and it was that e5 that gave optic the lead to eventually go through and win the game here let's kind of close this one out and see what happens there but honestly if you're phase you're probably looking at that p5 and just thinking one we should have broke it better but two like when they got an opportunity to break, they just kept going one by one and just kind of throwing their lives away. And I think that was a big problem for them. So I'm just trying to look. Okay, so Shotzi was in a streak there. I was just trying to... Oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to look and see what's going on here. So I believe Shotzi had a streak. He was kind of trying to play for that. They're going through. And honestly, the game's not over at this point because, you know, Optic have a big lead, but... This P1, man, this P1's looking like it's phases. They go through. That kill is just insane. Like, this is what I mean by superstars right now. Look, you've got number four going through. They take out number five. I think right now the, the pinch is going in. And honestly, there's just nothing they can do. But Kenny goes through. He baits for himself, takes him out. Like, you normally don't see that kill. Normally, you see Kenny die there. Maybe Pred get the trade. But the fact that Kenny gets that kill just really opens up the map now. It's 3v1. Simps by himself gets taken out and... Honestly, man, that is a fantastic, fantastic breakthrough. Draza doesn't have much time to work with. But again, like, even there, I understand him running in because obviously they're all weak and stuff. But it's like, he has to basically be 1v3 right now. I feel like as soon as, you know, Selium's dead there, maybe just go left here. Like, take your time. Like, you have one, one good push left to win the game, right? As in, Optic needs 17 seconds here. I feel like just pushing in by yourself like right now, if you're Draza, these are one of those pushes I think are just wasted, in my opinion. Like, like look at that. Like, he gets no impact at all. And now look, number six is by himself. And it's just like, why not wait like three seconds? You know what I mean? Like, Sim actually gets one. Sim actually somehow manages to go through, and they get two there. I just think little plays like that, you just got to be a little bit cleaner at. And somehow Sim and Abizi go through. They end up cleaning it. They end up breaking that hill. I don't even know how they break it at that point, but they end up breaking it. Shotzi goes through again. Good chasing out of Shotzi. He's going to leave him. Go for the spawners. Again, just really good play from Shotzi. Getting aggressive. Really, really putting them in that spawn trap. And that's exactly what you want to do. He goes through. He's going to cut this lane out. Pred goes through, but Shotzi's in such a good spot here. Kenny goes in, and this is it. That's going to be game. Optic Texas win. Map number one. And that's about it. They get smoked the rest of the series. Now, they didn't get smoked, to be fair. I'm an Optic fan. I was okay with the series. Um, I think a lot of people were overreacting on the internet and stuff. I know it's the internet like I'm an old man. But yeah, I think a lot of people were overreacting on Twitter and stuff when I saw it. Um, I think out of all of the series, leaving this one, I felt the best.
Now, obviously, the majors were different because they were majors. They hurt more. But as an Optic fan, leaving this series, the bad thing was, I think if we were going to win any any of the games against them, this was the one to do it. I think BZ not being well, they were definitely weaker today that you could just see. But I think playing them that close on high rise and on both the control and the search is a positive. Taking the hard point on this map, and to be fair, this wasn't, it was close, but I think, you know, it wasn't like, it was a miracle. I think Optic played well, to be honest, for the majority of this hard point. Um, yeah, I think overall it was, it wasn't bad from Optic at all. I think the Rio was extremely close. That's FaZe's best map as well. Like, you're looking at it thinking, okay, we're getting closer. Like, FaZe are still better than us, but we're getting closer and closer. And I think this wasn't a bad showing from Optic. However, FaZe being weak, still clutching up unwinnable rounds on on the high rise they were unwinnable rounds and they managed to clutch up that is a problem from optic but i think the more you play the more vod you get i'm okay as an optic fan from the the way this went but youtube that was a bit of a longer breakdown it was a bit harder because i've not really played this map or not really seen it so it's a little bit of learning curve for myself as well but i think the more we get you know the more um we'll understand the map and yeah youtube you, got, you guys know the drill man drop a like and i'll catch you guys for another one tomorrow peace